Now, Steve, you joined Feinberg Consulting in 2013, and shortly after that, you and Pam became business partners. What was it about Feinberg Consulting that inspired you to join the team and help lead the business? You know, it, it was an interesting story because Pam and I knew each other and were friendly before we started working together. It was some type of, you know, unspoken connection. We, you know, there was a, there was a great communication and, and a mutual interest in each other's lives that initially I started doing some consulting for the business. There was a, a real good synergy about what the things are that, that I could bring and that were important to me and in helping to grow and develop a business and being able to see an organization that just had such incredible integrity, such a great reputation and really a, a, an opportunity to grow the business using the same type of skill set of case management in other areas, whether it was working more with seniors and people that are going through the aging process or those that were uh, dealing with, you know, things like addiction or mental health challenges. It wasn't like this hard decision that we came to. It was such a natural evolution. We share an, an unbelievable mutual respect and have had just a, a phenomenal relationship as business partners in helping to grow the, to grow the company. That's wonderful. So you kind of already mentioned some of these things, but can you both tell me a little bit about what else over the years has contributed to the growth and success of Feinberg Consulting? <laughs> I would say the um, there's been, as Steve and I became business partners, there's been a natural path to the business and way, the way we were able to move into different avenues to be able to help people. Um, through <clears throat> some mutual people that we were taking care of, they were able to identify that we had a way of being able to research and be able to identify some really good ways for people to, to get better. It was a natural progression. At the same time, it was a personal progression in my life. Um, I, I went through, for the senior services, I went through my parents um, aging and going through hospice and um, really failing in their life and ultimately um, passing away. Two of my brothers who um, have, has, have also um, gone through their medical issues and have um, I've been able to work through them. And uh, with the addiction and mental health services, there were family members that I needed to help or I was able to intervene with and my own personal experience with a diagnosis of cancer um, where I was a patient myself. My husband was a patient just most recently in the last year and a half. So things, um, you know, with medical, mental health, uh, some really complex situations, um, it, it came into my personal life and I, I recognized that it was really about how its families could struggle with this because it was hard for me as a nurse, let alone, and as a case manager um, to go through those processes. And I, I know it's, it's hard for families that don't know where to find things or find, find providers. And, you know, as you asked that question, what came up to, came up for me was around, you know, what, what allowed us to do what it is that we do. I, the word culture came to mind and the culture that has been created by the company um, and the unbelievable people that, are, that, that work with us at Feinberg. The quality of people that the company has attracted and the commitment to self-care, to balance, I think make the difference. It has people excited about being part of a movement rather than a job. And, and, you know, I think that's something that we're both really, really proud of. 